You're watching Telecom TV for Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm going to be talking now about best practices for network transformation as we evolve our networks from 4G towards 5G. And I'm joined by executives from Red Hat, Affirm Networks and Intel. Gentlemen, hello. Uh, maybe I can ask um, each of you in turn to introduce yourselves. Start with Mark. Sure. My name is Mark Wolforth. I'm with Red Hat. I manage our network ecosystem activities in the telco sales vertical. Great. Eric. And I'm Eric Lavander and I uh, run uh, strategy and business development for network and communications worldwide. Great. I'm Amit Tiwari and I run strategic alliances and systems engineering at Affirm Networks. Excellent. Let's get straight onto things because we're talking about collaboration in network transformation, the importance of collaboration. You three companies are collaborating. Tell me, tell me exactly what, what you're up to. Mark, what, what are the three of you, you doing? Well, we're really proud of the collaboration between the three companies. And you know, one of the things that, when we talk about this topic of network mm. transformation, you know, there's obviously an, an important technology element. But it requires to really transform networks and to build, bring open source to market. Mm. It requires joint innovation and joint collaboration to drive that innovation. And that's what really has been happening and what I think we're going to be doing a lot more of going forward with Affirm, with Intel, mm -hmm. and that's what we're excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric, what do you bring to the collaboration? Well, we've been working you know, for many years now to get the platforms ready for 5G, and we're seeing 5G happening mm -hmm. here at the show. Mm -hmm. And they're running on standard Intel architecture products. Mm -hmm. And that's so uh, much, you know, it's so important for, for the opportunity for our friends here to innovate on top of it, and for everyone else out in the in industry to innovate. So we're bringing an open platform for innovation. Great, and Amit, that's a third collaborator. Absolutely, so uh, you, know, you know, one of the things I'd like to go back to is, you know, if you remember the early days of the internet, mm. when, um, when a gentleman named Spot, Scott McNeely said that the network is the killer app, I think in the, our case, mm. the collaboration is the clear, uh, killer app, mm. right? Yeah. So if you think of virtualization and now the journey onto cloudification, it is this rich ecosystem of committed mm. partners like ourselves mm. yeah. that actually help make real the best practices that then come out of the technologies that each one of us creates, yeah. right? So yeah. it's collaboration and the ecosystem is what really makes the transformation yeah. of the network possible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, of course, you've all got to be collaborative. You're, you've all got to be open to this collaboration in, in the first instance, which isn't always the case in this industry. Yeah. So, obviously, it, it's, it's about people um, and aligning people. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, you know, you're right. And th th it is a cultural transformation that's happening. And it's happening at the telco side, mm. but it also requires change at the ecosystem side. And, you know, I think there's a new model for ecosystem collaboration that's that's developing. And I think the work, we've, we've collaborated in upstream communities with Intel for mm -hmm. many, many years and mm. driving a lot of innovation into the upstream communities so that it can be used mm. by the whole industry. What I think is, is changing now is really making that real for specific applications mm. and being able to deliver open solutions to you know, solve real problems. Mm. And you look at the recent announcement that we did with Affirmed and, and uh, for our joint customer, Turkcell, mm. where they're deploying a, you know, a, a model leveraging this, this environment to 35 million mobile subscribers. And that, you know, that kind of change is, 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 takes more than just having good technology. Mm. I mean, we, we, we're driving freedom of choice to the industry. And that is, as good as that is, it creates complexity. Mm. Yes. And, and our job is to reduce that complexity without tampering or, or dealing with, with reducing the, the, uh, the freedom of choice. Yeah. So we have to decide on joint roadmaps, platforms that work together, and APIs that, that work together. And that is what we've been doing, and that is what we're seeing here in the, in the industry. That's yeah. such a key part uh, yeah. that you brought up, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, if you think of a firm, mm. we are entirely software-based. Mm. You know, we are actually creating web-scale software for service providers, right? Mm. And if you think of the technologies that you create, the mm. technologies that you bring, right? Uh, from a Red Hat Intel mm. perspective, we are able to take advantage of this platform to create web-scale, decomposed, mm. micro, microservice-based mm. architecture right. that lets then customers like Torcel, who's actually, you know, they leverage all, all mm. of our technologies, go out and actually launch this type mm. of a network in you know in such a fast pace, right? So going back, Mark, to your cultural aspect, right? Mm. You know, 
us collaborating is one thing. The thing that's really reassuring and gets us all kind of so mm -hmm. excited mm -hmm. is now we have service providers actually embracing this continuous development model where they are very agile and actually launching new services mm -hmm. at a pace that in the past was only possible for the web scalers, right? right. So it, right. it really is a true genesis of transformation that we are mm -hmm. driving both from a end user and culture perspective. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And how, how much of this is purely associated with 5G and, and, and how much is doable right now with, with what we have now in 4G? Yeah. You want to you take that one? Yeah. Sure, uh, so all the things that we talked about, you, you know, from, from our yeah. perspective, all of this we are actually leveraging for transformation today, yeah. mm. right? Now here's the beauty of, of, of partners like ourselves working together. We are transforming networks with virtualization and hybrid cloudification mm. today. All of this fits perfectly well into the construct and framework for 5G, mm -hmm. which is got, gets us all so excited right. about you know, yeah. what's coming down the road, right. because we apply this framework mm -hmm. to 5G, but mm -hmm. we are doing all this today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. and I think a, a tangible you know, aspect of the collaboration is the center of excellence is being built out yeah. with uh, Firm. And you know, I think that's an opportunity for people that really want to deploy you know, new solutions to be you know, building them out, testing, ensuring that there is the alignment that Eric talked about. Mm. And so that, you know, is, is kind of a very tangible aspect of what we've been putting out for customers. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what we've been doing is, you know, in the, in the past 10 years, we've been tearing down the, the, the siloed approach, the black box mm. approach right. Of, right. of the industry, horizontalized it. And that's, that is truly how we glue that together in a, in a fashion that the industry can, can consume by having Intel select solutions, the open stacks, the you know, APIs in which you, you, you address the, the, the resources that you have. That is so, so powerful. That is truly get, getting us to the web scaler uh, way of working into networking. Yeah. You, you, you mentioned the Intel Select solution there. Can you just tell me a little bit more what that is and how it fits in? Well, Intel Select solution is, is a way of for us to validate a set of hardware pieces that, come, mm. that we are bringing out so that they are validated for the industry. They know that it, that, that it works according to a certain amount of parameter. Right. It's not a complete solution, it's a foundational piece for the industry to build software upon. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd like to pick up on actually, you know, what you just said, Eric and, and Mark, uh, you know, you said. You know, if you look at the work that we have done, which is actually creating technology and making it more consumable for service providers, mm. right? Uh, the web scale type of technology, mm. right? The cloud native type of technology. And then, being realistic about it, mm. actually create investing jointly in the center of excellence, mm. being able to park and actually test these technologies in that center of excellence, rapid prototype for mm. service providers to give yeah. them the confidence mm. they need to actually go deploy it, right. and then taking that out and actually creating these template-based solutions that then we can widely yeah. accelerate the transformation yeah. on. Yeah. And then we don't really need to sit here and, and invent the, the killer apps that everyone are talking about. That will be invented by smarter people than, than us three. Right. <laughs> Uh, you, you've, uh, you mentioned the, the willingness of CSPs and operators to, to, to get involved and, and, and embrace this. Is, is that across the board or is it still a bit of a sliding scale? There are those, there are those who are or able to and there are those who are maybe waiting and seeing a little bit at this stage. Well, what I would say is, you know, one of the things that we've been really um, excited about is the number of service providers that are actually contributing code to the upstream mm -hmm. communities. And, you know, there is a real change happening in terms of the way of working um, and not just, you know, throwing out something that you know they want to make available, mm. but actually contributing, evolving, editing, mm. you know, yeah. making it real, um, and you know, bringing the the, the um, innovations, mm. you know, into the upstream community so yeah. that they can be available to anybody. Yeah. yeah. But we, we should should be real as well. There 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 are business to be had for systems integration in this environment. Yeah. Absolutely. The, yeah. It's everything for everyone doesn't work like mm. Lego. Mm -hmm. At you know, at day one of, of of this, so you know there are new business models that are coming up that that didn't exist before, and that's so yeah. good to see that uh, people mm -hmm. are stepping up. That's a very key point, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, like you said, 
it is it is a journey for service mm. providers, right, Mark? Uh, yeah. You know, there are different service providers who are at different stages of, of embracing this. Yep. Mm. There are some who are all in, right? Mm. And they're actually transforming their workforce back mm. to the cultural yeah. part that we're talking about. And there are others who have actually want this to be proven out, mm. right? And I think, again, going back to creating these blueprint solutions mm. that we can actually run into a certain of excellence yeah. Yeah. and prove it to them, yeah. Yeah. and then actually help them with certified systems integrators, yeah. Uh, you know, centers of excellence yeah. that can actually prototype those solutions. That has really helped them. So, you know, I think the good news is this. There's a whole set of folks who are contributing yeah. that are actually part of this movement. Yeah, so, so that is part of the, the, the partnership yeah. as well. Exactly, yeah. so, you know, exactly. They, they've actually, you know, you know, come into the groundswell and they're mm. actually contributing, right, right, to the solution. Then there's a whole bunch who are actually very, they are very reassured by this movement from mm. our community as well as the service provider mm. community who's embraced this. Mm. And then there is folks who actually need quite a bit of help, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you look at the sum total of this, it is a huge transformative you know, population of service providers, yes. right? Which is a key. Yeah. And to be, to be honest, when, when you go to take a next step into this and, and connect it to Internet of Things mm. and, and those mm. verticals, we're, st we need, we're gonna need even more collaboration because it becomes a, an ecosystem of ecosystems that absolutely. you're gonna start yep, connecting. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so this <laughs> capability that we're building, this partnership that we're, that we're working on now is gonna be a core strength going forward. Absolutely, absolutely. So yes. as, we, as we build out this integrated ecosystem, well, parting thoughts from the three of you perhaps about what, what CSP should focus on or how, how CSP is getting involved and how they can help themselves with this transformation process. Yeah, well I think the first thing is embracing the, the, the kind of the mindset of open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know when we talk about open and open source transformation of networks, it, it does have a technology component, you know, open mm -hmm. platforms, making mm -hmm. sure that you have technologies that are, you know, upstream open source based, but also that are consumable mm -hmm. and supportable. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a technology component. There's the the collaboration component that we've been talking mm -hmm. about a lot. And I think that you know open collaboration mm -hmm. is a critical element, and it does affect not just you know the ecosystem providers, but the consumers mm -hmm. of it in a in a you know cohesive way. Mm -hmm. And then finally, there's the the innovation. Open mm -hmm. innovation mm -hmm. is continuing to drive that forward together. Yeah, and things like fail fast, mm -hmm. all, all of those. Mm -hmm. uh, always be in beta, constant beta, w whatever you, you're doing, and, and, and questioning your, your business model, and realizing that it's not just about communication services anymore, it's about helping your customers digitize and being part of that journey. Mm. You know, absolutely, key points, and you know, one thing I would say is, you know, it's almost, a, you know, we like to actually, together, put together this, this challenge for service providers, mm. right? And we say this with all humility because we've together with service providers actually proven this model to work, right? Mm -hmm. I think what we need from service providers now is complete belief and actually participating. We need more of the folks who are contributing and participating to the solutions, right? Yeah. As in, you know, let's work together mm. and create the web scaler type of environment mm. and the development environment, mm. the integration environment, yeah. which we want all to embrace, right? Mm. I think let's all become actors in this, in, you know, in this journey, rather than some of us actually creating solutions and then actually providing them out, right? Mm -hmm. I would almost say all of us together are solutions creators and providers at this stage. And I think we have to act in that way mm. for the complete transformation to happen. Mm. Great, great. Gentlemen, great discussion. Thank you all very much indeed for joining us Thanks on Telecom for TV. Us. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome.